those days. What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 48. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your drum recordings in Logic Pro. Let's say you went to a studio, you recorded some drums, came back to your home studio, and you start to edit. Let's say the kick drum just didn't sound really good. It sounded really flat and floppy and just didn't sound right, but you need to thicken it up with a nice kick. But hey, we have samples in our sample library that we can replace that drum sound with. So we can go ahead and actually take the drum recording that we took, that audio file, convert it to MIDI, and then apply a new sample to that sound without affecting the groove, sort of just copies that groove, put your new sample in, and now you got a new drum sound in your uh, drums in your drum session that you just recorded. So with that said, I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. So right here is a little drum recording that I did. Uh, basically, it's out of time. Purposely, I want to show you how a bad drummer sounds like, and we're gonna go ahead and take this acoustic drum set and turn it into an 808 kit with the same groove, but put it in time, because that's what we wanna do. We wanna put and keep our music in time. So here we go. Here's the little drum thing that I put together. All right, it's out of time. Very simple, kick, snare, kick, snare. So the first step we gotta do is clean up our audio tracks. Now, a lot of engineers will just put a noise gate on their track to take out the bleed. And if you don't know what bleed is, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play and take a listen to my snare in this kick track. Basically, a bleed means it's the mic is picking up another instrument that's not supposed to. So when again, what engineers do, they put a noise gate in to cut that out just to keep that kick sound in it. But I like to actually go in and cut this audio out and keep it clean. It's just, it's just cleaner that way and your tracks will always sound cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead, click my audio file. Sorry, my audio region. Go to audio. Go to strip silence. And right here, this will pop up. It is your strip silence editor. So basically, you want to adjust your threshold until you get rid of your snare, your ghost hits right here. So now I got rid of it right there. And I just want to, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust my release time, just because the kick might have some tail right there. So there it is, extended my release time, and I'm gonna hit okay. Logic will automatically cut up all your files for you, taking out all that bad stuff that we don't want. Now we can't really work with individual files like that, so what we do is select all the files, go to region, Go bounce regions in place. And uh, yeah, sure, we'll go to a new track, hit OK. So Logic will create a new track for you right there. And now we got a nice clean track without any uh, ghost hits from the snare. All right, finally, our next step that we ought to do is create a software instrument track. And like I said, I'm going to put in an 808 kit with the Ultra Beat. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in an Ultra Beat. Stereo. And I'm going to bring in a 808 drum kit. Okay. Now we can finally convert our audio to MIDI. So basically just double click on your audio region. Go to factory. Go audio to score. And since uh, there's a couple of presets here that you can go through, but since the kick is really hits fast and hard, just hit drums fast. Don't worry about any of the settings. Hit process. We can close this window that Logic pops up. And as you can see, if we place our software instrument track under that audio track that we want to convert to MIDI, it will place the MIDI track right into that track for you. So now we can go ahead and uh, put our kick in time. And there we go. Now we got our kick all nicely in time. And now we can go ahead and find a drum sample that we want to be triggered by these MIDI notes. All right, so let's say for the tutorial sake, that is the kick I want. So now I can go ahead Hit play. Now I got my kick nice and in time. Before it sounded a little floppy. Ooh, a little dry and floppy. And out of time. But now we're nice and in time. As you can see, we got a nice sounding 808 kick drum right there following the same groove as we had here, but just in time. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the snare with the same steps just so you can kind of see it again. So I'm gonna kind of move a little bit faster, but you can follow all my steps. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna select my snare. I'm gonna take out all the bleed of the excess kick sound that's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So we want to delete all that out. Go to audio, go to strip silence, 
adjust your threshold. Perfect. I'm going to add some more tail to it. Okay. Select your track. Go to region. Go to bounce regions in place. Sure, I'll do a new track. So there's right there. Now we got our nice little snares without our kicks sounding in it, without our kick bleeding into it. Next step we want to do is create a softer instrument track. And like I said, I'm going to bring in a Ultra Beat 808 kit. Drum kits, 808s, scroll down, vintage 808, okay. Double click on your region, go to factory, go to audio to score, and drums fast is still okay for snares because it's hitting fast. Click process, close this window. <laughs> I know there's a lot of steps, but it's pretty easy. And there it is right there in the vintage 808 kit, so we can double click our region and go ahead and quantize this so this will be in time. And now we can go ahead and select all our MIDI sound samples right there and drag them up to a snare sound or clap sound. All right, so let's say that is the sound that we want. Now we have completely replaced our drums with a new 808 kick sounding without affecting the groove because this is still the groove of it just in time with different samples. So as you can see right there, it's very easy to take your drum recordings that you took, kind of convert it to MIDI and then replace it with nice thick sounds, samples that we already have in our sample library without really affecting the groove. Let's say your drummer was a lot better than my drummer right here. Uh, you can actually just convert to MIDI and keep the same groove template as it had. So with that said, you can ask me any questions if you have them in the comment section. And as usual, more great videos always coming soon, guys. So remember to rate and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Later.